Uh, I haven't had any of these yet this year, but it is getting towards the season where alligators do start migrating and mating. Uh, hopefully won't have too many problems with it. Usually they don't get into the neighborhoods too much. Uh, they contract uh, with the Game and Fish Commission, have people come and remove them for us. But usually, uh, at least in my short career, I've only uh, called them maybe once. And it should be right here uh, around the corner. We should be there. Keep you on the sprinkler. I'm not going to do it. I'm going to walk around back. Oh, there he is. Here's his head. He's about five, six foot. Looks like he's been banging up against the fence trying to get out. I wonder how he probably got in here through that hole in the fence over there to the left. How you doing, sir? Has this happened to you before over here? Or is this first time? <laughs> Looks like he came through that hole in the fence right there. Now he's stuck and can't get out. 74, he's in uh, the backyard, uh, nowhere near water. So when I was sitting there on the telephone, the cat was acting weird. And all of a sudden, I saw this gator's nose up against the glass. And, uh, then we started making phone calls to find out who to call. And then he was resting over here for a while. And I came out to close the back doors of the garage, and he just sort of. So, so he was out. actually on your porch there? Yeah. Nose to nose with the cat? Nose to nose with the cat. And then he was resting right over here on the back stoop. And ended up over there. And then decided to call the sheriff's office. You got your rope? Oh, I'm sure he's alive. There you go. There you go. <laughs> so when you grabbed his tail, is that how the trappers do it? Or they... He hisses and moves Bill, and... That, al that alligator is strong. <laughs> how you doing, gentlemen? Explain to me what goes on here. I've, uh, first time. I'm gonna loosen, drag him out of them bushes. Noose him and drag him out of the bushes. And then what happens to him? You gotta get him taped up. I believe he's upset. That would be the hiss. Uh, yeah. This will need the crocodile hunter. Hey, 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 hey. I don't think he's happy. Oh, he hands you the stick. Is he about six foot? Six and a half. Six and a half? About how old do you think he is? He'd be five, six, ten years old. So hopefully he doesn't have a dad or nothing around here? I don't know, he flapped around and he's in pretty good shape. Is it a male or a female, can you tell?
Ooh. That looks painful. Would that be your standard issue duct tape? Some of it's a little better than others, and some of it ain't. And you didn't. No, I got them in the pocket. Six and a half foot, huh? Yeah. What are the odds there's another one around here? Hey, 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 easy. Oh, hear that. One alligator in custody. Oh. You want to read Ms. Rice now? Nah, he'll take care of that. Hey, 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 hey. Not gonna break out the tape, is he? Oh, hey. I hate it when that happens. You guys just throw them in the back of the truck, or? Lay them back there. Where do you guys take them from here? To the house? Leave them to my place. You gonna tie them down? Ooh. He sounds mad. I wouldn't wrestle him, would you? I'd rather chase somebody on foot. We're going to uh, a residential area. The call is a, a check welfare. Apparently, there's a black bear up in a palm tree. You know, a bunch of people were gathered around it, trying to throw rocks at it to get it to come down. It's right around the corner here. And there's another unit there. They've got the spotlight on, uh, on the tree so that they can see what's going on. And we're just rolling up on it now. Fishing game's coming down. We just checked with the zoo, and it's not a zoo bear. <laughs> a bear in a palm tree in Arizona. Go That's right. In, in the middle of uh, the middle a series of, of ap apartment <laughs> complexes. That's, well, that's, that's what I'm wondering because, you know, it's really odd to have a bear right here. So I'm really wondering how here. I'll try to get the ladder over here, I guess. I'm going to get up there and see if I can maybe just noose it out of the tree. Somebody was asking what what happens when it, if it gets out. It's going to come down. It's going to tree again as quick as it can. A little okay. bear like that's not going to be a real, it's not going to be a safety hazard. I mean, you guys can do a good job of keeping everybody back anyway. Okay. It's not going to be biting people. It's going to be running like crazy to try to, to find try try find a play, place behind it. If it comes out of here, it's going to go right back up another tree. OK. Oh, probably famous last words, but that's been my experience. And you're going to go up there and try to noose it. I'm going to go up and try to noose it. Liz, Corey, you guys want if we can just have like a, just a soft perimeter? OK, if he does come out, he's going to want a tree again. But we just, we just stay this way, so if he does come, we can scare him back this way for a tree. Ron and I will go for the, the front of the valley. Well, well just watch the there. crowd. Brian, I'd rather have you stay close by. Just, you know, I don't care if you have to do a ricochet off the ground okay. to scare it back.
Shots up. That's a bear. That's a Dean, get ready the battery. I'm ready, sir. Can we get this down as quick as we can? Take it down, boys. Down. Down. One here in the other yard. That was outstanding. Around so you don't have so far to go vertically. Okay. Come on, folks, a little elbow room. Corey, could you give me? Can we give? We need like another ten. Five, ten feet. Okay, folks, we need to back, we need to back up a little bit so we get the bear off. Okay. Just back to about the other side of the sidewalk. Give the fire department a little bit of room. Okay, With this cage up on there, you want to bring him down. Got it? Okay. You just keep his teeth away from my. Watch those claws. Watch the claws. Watch the claws. Watch your hands, Liz. You're all right. Liz. You're all right. Did you push? You're okay, buddy. You're okay. There we go. Watch your hands. Watch your hands. Okay, I'm going to just stand you right okay. back up here. Put it on you. Put it on in. Watch your fingers. Watch your hands. Watch your hands. Watch your hands. He's showing up everywhere. I suspect they're either orphaned because the conditions have been so bad. It's been dry for a couple of years. It's been really dry conditions. So they're either orphaned. Her mom just kicks them loose and says, sorry, I can't take care of you anymore. And so they're just out on their own. Run route to an uh, animal complaint. A uh, lady victim called in, stated uh, there's a snake inside a residence and snake is upset. Uh, she believes she stepped on it. The area we're going to uh, has a lot of uh, marshland around it in between the houses and stuff. Uh, on occasion, you get a couple uh, snakes and alligators that wander from the marsh towards the residences. A lot of different snakes here in Florida. Most of the time, they're uh, water moccasins or black snakes or gardener snakes. On occasion, you have uh, baby rattlers and uh, some copperheads on occasion. Unknown what type of snake uh, we're going to at this time. I guess we're about here. How you doing? I'm scared. It's like a red color. How big is it? Is it small? He's pretty long. He's not real fast. Where's he at? He's pretty high. Oh, he's curled up now. What kind of snake is it? I don't know. It's like here? a cop or something. Hold on a second, Dave. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Hold on, let me move this first. Let me move this. All right, let me get this out of the way. Let me get this out of the way.
Get that bag open wide. Get in there. Open the bag up. Close it up. Snake extermination at your service. Tell us what happened, how you found her in the house and stuff. I live across the street. Oh, uh, the, uh... There's a woman over here that lives here. She'll tell you about it. She just called me up. She said, I'm up on top of the washing machine. <laughs> up on top of the machine, huh? I don't blame her. Big old snake over here. Come get him. <laughs> so. Piece of cake. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. Thank you. Ma'am? You don't have any more in here, do you? I hope not. I mean, I actually did trip over it. He was stuck in between the door, and uh, I called for my neighbor to come and help me, but this is the second one I've had in the house. <laughs> A different snake. How'd you get the first one out? A uh, neighbor came neighbor. and helped me out here by myself. I don't blame you. I hate snakes. I don't like them. They... But not a problem. It, was it the same kind of snake, do yeah, you know? It's a different type of snake. Was the other one all black or? Uh, sort of a dark gray. And it was in your utility room? It was in the utility room. Can I look if you don't mind? Sure. Mm -hmm. Hmm. It may have been back here a while. <gasps> why, is there, why do you say that? Is there snake skin? Do you have an exterminator? You might want to consider getting one. Some skin on the floor. Uh, I don't see any one of the ones down here. Could have been living in here. The dryer hose mm -hmm. right, right back mm -hmm. of the dryer. It's very possible it came in through there. Oh my gosh. That's a different type, too. It's hard to say. I've never, not real good on them. Mm. But, and you see how your vent is in your dryer? See how the stuff falls out? I mean, there's a hole in it over here. I thought that's why it's hot. Yes, ma'am. it was hot in here, yes. Well. You need to get somebody to replace that for your, tape it up or something. You have any tape? This won't get us too far. I believe the uh, snake came through the vi dryer vent and exited through the hole in the hose for the dryer. Uh, there's still some debris left in it, some skin back here. Hey, Maytag man, are you done yet? Almost. <laughs> Hopefully that'll hold her for a while until she gets a new hose. Book them, Dano. Several raccoons in a woman's chimney hissing at her children. And apparently she's called wildlife control and everybody else she can think of to have them come help her out and not getting any success. So we're gonna go see if maybe we can assist her somehow. Not real sure what we can do, but we'll, we'll figure it out as we get there. Been down this road in my life. This thing pissed at him. <laughs> These raccoons. Are, which house is it? This one? Bad. Yeah. Yes. They are not very happy raccoons and they're trying to chew I'm through the flu. I swear to God. And her dog, a Doberman, yay hi, is trying to get at him. And she's got but she's we home alone the with flute her flute just a little bit and the thing was like didn't he, didn't you, he. you tap on the flute and these raccoons go nuts. And, and the you can hear the babies. You can hear them. The That's raccoon insane. trapper won't come out and get them. So how long have you had these friends? You know, I called wildlife control, and he goes, well, how long have they been here? I said, well, it's been a couple of weeks, but they've never hissed at me. 
I'm not about to confront raccoons. Can they get in your house? They're digging at the flute now. They're like right there. Let's go in and take aren't another they? look. Aren't they? You were no, my I was witness. There. They are like right Raccoon's there. not in the phone book. It's insane. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing in writing about raccoons. Yeah. Your dog's not going to eat me, is it? Yeah. Your dog is very friendly. Can you hear him? I don't hear anything yet. Oh, man, they do growl. I told you. Look, see, they're back over here. They're on that side. Oh. Oh, here, little coons. <laughs> oh, good oh. gravy. <laughs> <laughs> they had their paws sticking out before. <laughs> oh, yeah, I can see him. He's right there. There should be two of them up there. Do you have a ladder to get on Actually, the roof? he's going up. He's going up. Okay. Got one running. He'll be right, right back down, I guarantee you. They've been there all night. He went halfway up. two hours ago, Ken? Is there a ladder we can get on the roof? Go up there if we can get him to leave. He is growling. I'd like him to go away if he would. Me too. Maybe you can scoop him back up. I'm going to close that so they don't... In case they decide to come back. <laughs> He's not stuck. He can definitely get up and down. Where's the ladder? In? Where's the ladder? It's in the garage. And my we'll try it. If we can get him, if we can get him out, they'll probably run off, and I doubt they'll come back. <laughs> All right. Do you have the flashlight? See at least two two youngsters in there. They look like they've been there a while. They're quite comfy. Oh yeah, they've they've been there for a little while. Hey buddy, come on out there and bring your friends. Yeah, it definitely looks like they've been uh, living there for quite some time. <laughs> How do you call a raccoon? I don't know. <laughs> the babies are just kind of plugging their ears, wishing it would go away. Come on. I don't think they're... I don't think he's going to leave without assistance. I don't think he is either. Yeah. I think there's three babies, actually. I'm trying to count heads. Yeah, there's there's at least three heads I can see of the little ones. They're laying in a little... Nice little warm pile. They're real, real... Relaxed. The little ones, they don't care about anything. Mama's not a mom. Happy mom <laughs> Mama's taking care of business. Mama almost chased me off the roof. Watch out for the skylight. Uh. Mama's antisocial. I don't know. Uh, you got it. You can't leave them in there. That's not safe. Especially with kids in here. Four-year-old child's sleeping. She's home alone because of the rabies. I mean, they can get in. They can I get know. in the house. We're raccoon rescue. Raccoon, raccoon rescue. Raccoon rescue All right. volunteers. Basically, we got mom to uh, flee the coop, and the well, little babies are. Well, that's the best thing that we can do. You know, I'll spring in. Let's get something. Uh huh. Let's spring in. He lived directly across the street from me for several years, and now I live at the end of town. So he still lives over there. Let's see if we can get this. Uh... He's gonna try and break that off too, man. And there's a pin rusted in, is what's holding it on. They're on the right side. Watch. Try not to hit that flume because it's still, it's just kind of hanging there. Your beard. Don't worry about your beard right now. You know what? Got it? Got it. It's alive. Oh, it's pretty little. Gage is awake, it's Janie. It's smaller than I thought it was from up top. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. You want to move that one? Light in here? Yeah, I'm trying to get back in. Well, I'm thinking, shouldn't we put the other one in here too? Oh, I think this is. 
Yeah, you got the line. Actually, they look a lot bigger. Up there. Here, just set this in here. Yeah, they did. Yeah. Thank goodness they're not messing <laughs> over because they can get vicious. Even well, the vicious. Yeah, so That's kind of. No, we got him. Now we got him. We've got, 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 got two already. There he is. Brooks, our hero. You're gonna need a new cotter pin to put that thing back together. <laughs> yeah, 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 that's something I'm worried about. Yeah. Here we go. Well, poor oh, there he is. Oh, oh, aren't they precious? Mm -hmm. How old are they? They're, these were only about six to eight. Yeah, six, six, maybe six, a little six, bit older. Right. Happy ending. Four, year, four years of the business, and that's the first raccoon in a chimney I've had to deal with. Can't wait to see what's next. What you gonna do?